We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Eric Ezukanma. This is one of my guys. Really enjoy watching him play. He has such a unique skill set and just sort of like a secret weapon for this Dolphins offense. I feel like he could be that breakout player. I know people comparing to, to Debo. He might be kind of used like that in that role. They're a little bit different players, but he came out, made an impact on his first just couple of plays, especially getting him the ball in his hands. This one particular was impressive to me. It wasn't the longer run, but just this one, he really created this on his own. And you can just see how powerful he is. He is a different level of strength. And I know people want to talk about the wide receiver three battle. I think I've come to the conclusion. I don't really care about who wins the wide receiver three battle. I think all guys need to play and they all have like very different skill sets obviously there's some overlap in their play but Ezu Kanma is kind of that yards after catch you're going to give him some of these you know design touches plays like this the jet sweeps brings that yak element to this offense Braxton Berrios will be like when they go out in three out receiver sets Berrios is like that true slot receiver very reliable possession working over the middle of the field that type of player created some separations went on third down and then Robbie Chosen um he's going to be like the guy who can fill in when they go in those two wide receiver sets, they rotate a lot. Chosen can come in and run, run the routes that Waddle and Hill run at a very similar, you know, not quite the same level, but, you know, right up there. Uh, he's got that speed. He understands how to run his routes with good pacing and timing, and he can win down the field. So it's got a nice mix of all three players. And then I think Easy, just looking at this play, the jet sweep, spin out of this. This guy wins uh, right here, 48. I, I think he's trying to let him go upfield, but he sets the edge. Spins out of it, makes him look silly. I thought at Easy he looked like one of the best athletes in this game. Everyone else kind of like that he came up again, looks like they didn't belong, and then he bounces to the outside, has the speed to get there, stiff arms this guy like he's nothing, and they, while he's stiff arming guy, he also gets hit, and then this guy just bounces off of him. It looks like it's nothing. He's barely affected. His core strength is insane. His contact balance is insane. You can see it. I can't wait until he's able to do this, where every time he's done this, he's been kind of near the sideline, so I'm really excited to see this happen in the game, where he's not near the sideline, he can just bounce off someone and really keep going after the catch. Here to see Easy this time, you know, not in the jet sweep, get him involved on the end around reverse situation, and you just see the speed, the burst out in space, just a natural with the ball in his hands. Doesn't do anything too crazy here. He does carry a guy for a while, but you can see the athleticism even after he just bounces off after that. Just love the creativity that is able to be used on these types of situations. Set this up. They uh, have win pulling away. They have like a guard tight end counter action going on up front here. And he really sells it. Good job by Mike White, too. You're selling it. Honestly, probably the best thing he did in this game, selling that off. And then you get these guys out in space, and Easy just blows by this, gets this set up, and no one's there to uh, stop him. And I just can't wait to see how this is used throughout the season. He carries that guy for a while. I just think he adds a different element to this offense that uh, when you have Hill, him, Hill, and Waddle all in the field at the same time, like Hill and Waddle obviously great after the catch, but just with how they're using this offense vertically down the field. I think we'll create these underneath lanes for Eze to work with or just, you know, give him design touches and allow him to really work with all that extra space. And I just think that's going to be a huge important role for this offense this year. Something to add that new element to take that next step. It's actually his first rep in the game. We got him out in the slot. It's a second 19 situation. And he kind of just gets matched up on this slot defender. And obviously the ball comes out very quickly, but he kind of wins on the slot fade very nicely. He eats up the cushion. Once he starts eating up the cushion, he starts to slow down and gets his pace. He raises his pad level, which usually is an indicator that you're going to break on this and, you know, uh, run a curl route, things like that, just break. And then he sets this up, eats up the cushion, gives him a little move to the inside, freezes the DB's feet, and then blows by him on the vertical plane. I think that's sort of where he feels really comfortable right now. He's still working on his route running overall, but I think he's more comfortable running these slot phase, these vertical routes, and then being a threat after the catch and, like, design screens, you know, reverses and arounds uh jet sweeps that's where he's very comfortable and i just want to see him develop his game a little bit more in that area but it's nice to see like he doesn't really need to do that right now for this offense to be successful it's nice to see that he's still out there at least running some good routes when he's working vertically easy lined up in like a tight slot he's a great blocker like he will get to one later where he absolutely destroys his guy I even posted that on twitter uh very impressive block he's a like, he plays almost like that. He's going to play, like, that Trent Sherfield type of role, I think. More often, he's, like, that replacement to me. Him and Higgins are going to be, like, sort of that F tight end, uh, you know, big slot type of player. They're going to be kind of interchangeable. And he just goes up, gets a DB one-on-one. -on -one. He just destroys DBs when he's going to be blocking. And he squares him up. And then he's able to see how he positions himself, gets control of the situation, and just completely 
turns his back, which gives the you know this room to shoot up through. A chain uh, is able to work past 35 because he held his block for a good amount of time. Uh, really impressive rep from Easy. Love his blocking ability. And here's the the block that I love. Really, basically, just an off ball tight end here. He helps initially. He just destroys this guy. Absolutely finishes it. Love that competitive toughness. This is something coaches are gonna love too. And I think him doing this constantly, like he did it last preseason, he's doing it even this preseason. I think coaches are gonna really take notice. And he seems to understand the playbook more, which I think is the biggest thing. And he should get a lot more playing time this season, even if he isn't the wide receiver three. I think without Sherfield there, they're really going to have a nice rotation of guys, and he's one of the top five for sure. He helps initially working the combo, helping his left tackle there, helping him get control of the situation, then climbs up to the DB. Look at the power. This guy is just completely taken off guard. Sustain, carry him, finish his block. Absolutely nasty work from Eze. Love that competitive toughness that he's bringing to this team in this preseason. Last play that I'm going to break down here for Ezu Kanwa. We got him in the slot again. He does actually a pretty good job here. I mean, he's getting man-to-man, -man, and uh, he does a good job of selling this like it's a vertical slot fade, but he breaks it off to the out. Not a perfectly ran route. Could have been maybe more efficient, but it's not terrible. I mean, he's a bigger guy. You're not going to see these guys running the most efficient routes, but he has a nice little foot fire off the line. Doesn't waste too much time. Get out into his, his route here. He has the positioning that he wants. Sell vertical, and then he breaks it off pretty quickly there. Could have maybe gave a little more nuance, like sell to the inside, you know, throw the head or shoulders, eyes to the inside just to make the DB bite. But like that he gets out there, doesn't waste time. And then he gets to the sticks and then boom, finishes, drags the toes, like the sideline awareness, like to see that high level football work from him. Because it's uh, something you have to do as a wide receiver, especially for a bigger guy where you can win at the catch point in contested situations. And we can see from here, just dead in the feet, toe tap, just aware of where he's at on the field, catch it. He has enough separation here, pretty accurate throw as well. Um, out of Skyler, one of his better plays in this game. But yeah, just loved what I saw out of EZ all around. Uh, basically, in every facet, I, he looked, didn't get a ton of work as a receiver, but in the routes that he did run and the route that he really got targeted on, he did good. He had a chance to, you know, even get a bigger play if the QB saw him. He dominated when he was blocking, and then he looked great as that sort of gadget, Debo ish type of role. I don't know. He's not like people keep trying to say he's the Debo. I mean, he's not the, I need to get what people are trying to say there. He's not the same player as Debo, but he could be used in a similar type of role. Um, I hope that he gets involved in, you know, after the catch this year. Definitely something that this offense really, really needs. You know, let these players go to work, even with Hill and Waddle, but those guys are demanding attention. Let Easy work. Let Barrios run his routes, create separation over the middle and, you know, the short and intermediate range. Let Chosen work vertically, be a guy that can work in the intermediate long range, sort of replace Waddle Hill, give them uh, some breathers. Um, and then they also have, you know, Cedric Wilson, Craycraft. I don't know how that's going to play out. Personally, I hope, I think they probably should try to trade Wilson and then keep Craycraft as like the sixth guy. Uh, I think Craycraft is a pretty solid six option for your team. Uh, really just understands the offense and where he's supposed to be. But easy, love what he's bringing, love how he's looked in these preseasons. Um, they just need to give him more of an opportunity. Uh, also, just look at Robert Jones just winning out in space. Good hand work. Drops the anchor. Gives Skylar Thompson all that time when he had all that space. Just the video, I just posted a video on Robert Jones. Amazing player. But easy. Love what he brought to the team. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.